Tooth of the Evening. It's Juicy Amygdala! my favorite restaurant. Uh, you know, Charles, I... I was kind of surprised that you asked me here. Georgie, why would you be surprised? You know how I feel about you. Exactly. Exactly. I mean, when you told me about Francine... Chardonnay, sir. Thank you. Thank you, my good man. Oh, thank you, sir. Francine is a thing of the past. Don't worry. Francine, isn't it? Jack, uh, I, 
I, I shouldn't have done this. I'm getting seasick already. I, I, I put every last penny of my savings to bring you on this cruise. You failed to mention that you get seasick. Is that right? Francine. Jeff, that, that is, that is, that's technically true. It's technically true. I thought I would uh, adapt more quickly than apparently I am. Francine, mm -hmm. this journey, this cruise, was for us to be more honest with each other. This was my gift. And this is how you are responding to that gift. Oh, Jack, I, I will. <clears throat> Rise to the occasion. <laughs> Soon, sir. The bag, please. Whoa! <laughs> <laughs> you must feel better. You must feel better now. now. <clears throat> Francine, these lies need to stop. I just can't deal with you anymore, lying about every single thing. It was an omission, not an outright lie. It's, it's a difference, a big difference. Jackie, you know I'm crazy about you. I want to do everything with you. I, 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 what are you omitting when you say that? I want to do everything with you. Uh, Where is the omission there, Francine? Uh, everything? Nothing? Something? Many things? Things I'm not doing? I'm, I'm confused. I, I'm still sick. What? What, Jack? Don't, don't, don't make this hard for me. <laughs> Francine. Mm -hmm. I just, for a minute, I thought you meant it, and you said, so then when you said everything, you meant nothing. Not so! Not so! I, you know, you're my dream boat, mm -hmm. sweetie. Dream boat? Yeah, this like... I am your dream, I am your dream boat. I mean, you could lie about stuff like that, so what if I am a little large? I didn't, oh, that, I, I didn't mean that. Yes, I, sure. Oh, you're, you're, my, you're my dream minnow. <laughs> what the hell is a minnow? <laughs> it's a skinny little fish. You're my dream minnow, Jack. Oh, huh? Be careful with my tummy. <laughs> <laughs> so you don't want me because I'm just rich, right? You? No, I didn't even know that. You did not know. Well, I, I mean, I read in the papers, but I, but I, it, that's irrelevant. It, it, it's your inner beauty that's that's attracting me. It's your. your you, you knew that I, I sing opera in the shower, did you? Uh huh. I, Why are you so scared suddenly? I see. I, I could start singing for you right now. Okay. Oh. oh, 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 oh. Stanley Kubrick knew. 
Al, you know, he predicted it. He predicted you it. Were so right. Yeah. And yet our engineers couldn't even they watch it. an old movie. They missed they it. Out. Yeah, and it's a classic too. It they is missed totally. It. It's totally. They missed it. Um, but but th this is kind of irrelevant because the oh. lawsuits are flooding into <laughs> test Right, but right. They missed, <laughs> yeah. they missed it. And I guess we're in the liability team, so we gotta kinda of work this That's out our now. Job. Yeah. 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 yeah, yeah, no. Um, oh. Yeah. Okay. Uh, so the spin, mm. the spin is um, fine print. Fine print. Fine print. It was not in. It was in the fine print, but they got. Uh, they, they got a bad manual. No, that's not good either. Well, I think we take the rudeness angle, you know, because this only happens when when Tesla owners become rude. You are. Yeah. <laughs> uh, Mr. Rogers, I, I have a proposal for you. I have been studying. Yeah your problems, and I have a new, completely new profession, Tesla therapist. Somebody who can do therapy on your Tesla. <laughs> Don't you think that's a great new line that we could sell? Not only you with the Tesla, you get the Tesla therapist. Right, right, so tell me more about the market. How are you gonna take this product to market? Well, look at the number of the headlines that you've had. You know, that family that was crushed to death, that family that fell off the you know, the mountain, the family that kind of the car divided itself into half, the, the family that the car blew itself up, you, you know, so, and every single of one, one of them, there is a kernel of the Tesla being mad. But they're all dead now. That is my point. So how do we how do we stop this problem before it happens? That's why you have a Tesla therapist. Right, right, so right, right. The Tesla right. therapist work before, right? You say, if your Tesla is having emotional outbursts, <laughs> see our therapist, local therapist hotline on one eight hundred. I need help, right? right and right. so then we have our people before we say we show all these lines of horrible things and say. You, if, you're, if you had only had therapy for your Tesla, none of this would have happened. <laughs> I thought you were my friend, Francine. Uh, so did Muffy. Um, I did not mean to diss Muffy. Muffy's very sensitive. Oh, that's right. I can sense people who don't respect her. <laughs> Jeannie, I'm just a cat person. You're not. You're a cat person. There's Fluffball here. What's not to love about Fluffball? <laughs> so you're saying the dog walking is, is purely for money? There's no emotional attachment there? None whatsoever. <laughs> well, that makes me feel a lot better. Oh, football. See, you don't get that from a dog. <laughs> <laughs> no, I don't. Oh, you got you got you got I wouldn't want to either. What's that supposed to mean? Well, I'm sorry, but I just find that the cats can be a little bit, like, overly emotional. Jeez. You know what I mean? <laughs> this is an honest response. Cats, cats, you, you, they, they can't lie. That's true. Like dogs. Like dogs pretends to be your friend. Mummy would never pretend. Uh huh. She loves me. Is that true, Muffy? That's <laughs> a vicious dog. She no, drew blood. Did she get a rabies shot? But get a first aid kit. It's, it's, it's gonna staunch the flow. Oh, oh God. Honey, 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 here you go. You'll be fine. You'll be fine. You know. I love you too, Fluffball. I can fucking sleep. Fluffball has her charms. Yeah. I, Bandage, please. Oh. <laughs> there you go. <laughs> <laughs> it's a small here, here, box to pay. Oh, oh, here. There you go. There you go. There you go. Yeah. Uh, yeah. Oh, no, nice. yeah, yeah, yeah. So I'm really glad we got this out of the way. 
you know, because book club's coming up and I didn't want it to be awkward. <laughs> uh, well, there, there was the, the matter of the book choice. What? You were outvoted. No. About the book club, ladies, um, we have decided both of you do not belong. A fraud brought here. What? Sergey <laughs> is fresh off the boat from Moscow, and he has a very good understanding of Chekhov that neither of you have. Chekhov? <laughs> where, where, where to romance novels? Yeah. We are high much brow. more, he is much more, we're going highbrow, and we want to have more drama. You guys, Jane Austen, no, Chekhov. Chekhov is the new Jane Austen, right? Yes. Check off. Check off. Check off. Check off. Check off. You guys, you guys go start your own book club. This is our book club. This is no. our book club. We have evicted you from this book club. Look, Muffy and I have better things to do. Come on, Francine. Ooh. I've never read in Russian. You can join us. <laughs> um. This whole idea of the Tesla therapist thing, it was not a good idea. Tesla responded angrily. It was so vengeful. I said, how dare you? How dare you put me in therapy? Nothing is wrong with me. So it was a passive aggressive test. Oh, yes. It, it started swerving. It didn't actually cause an accident, but it terrified me to death. <laughs> you know, I mean, you are a good Tesla therapist, and I thought if I say, you know, I have my car see you, but then the, the, the passive aggressiveness, it, it's a very much more complex problem. You know, I find you have to break it to your Tesla slowly. Have it take you for a nice long drive along the coast. <laughs> <laughs> Have a conversation with it. Tell the Tesla that means that you love it. Exactly. I just I love the way your tires are so round. Yes, no. You see, it, 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 as you're doing it, I'm doing it, and the car is reacting. And I'm glad for this internet connection we're having, so I can drive. I mean, the car is driving, of course, but I can be in it. And also, be sure. Be sure to tell the Tesla you love its smooth turn. Oh, I love the way you smooth <laughs> turn. Sometimes you just, you so, it's like smooth, like chocolate syrup. <laughs> and then she liked it. I mean, the Tesla has it, it's a she has it. And it's, it's, it's now, it's now, it's very dancey. And then the way it's doing it, I, I feel, I feel it's almost like, uh, it's, it's dreamy. But so when can I start talking about the like, you know, how she she she's a little bit erratic and then she's uh well uh, he's hearing this. I she's hearing this conversation. Oh no! Oh no! Ah! The head the therapist! Oh she disconnected me! I can't hear you! Ah! Yes, I am. I am new to this country. <laughs> you, know, you know, I really admire your your country's literature. I mean, you might not think that about me. Dostoevsky. Because I, I can't say any of those names of the authors, but but I, I it's know. It's okay. You're American. I know that they're very classic. They are. They are. They are wonderful Russian novels to be drunk with vodka. Oh, now that I like. Vodka? Vodka's great. You know, you can mix it with orange juice. That's what we do here in America. That is not how we take our vodka in Russia. But would you be all right with it now that you're here? No. Oh. Well, you know, I kind of feel like you should kind of meet us halfway here. You know? I'm meeting you with vodka. And I got orange juice, so... We have vodka. Strolling. See, you just pour a little bit in there. Oops, you can have orange juice in yours. Well, well, cheers to different cultures. Welcome. <laughs> <laughs> uh.
And now you have a hundred page book to read. <laughs> <laughs> so, um, I, I, I really feel that you keep coming back with your dog. Yeah. Fluffy, is it? You think Muffy. she's... Muffy, sorry, Muffy. Uh, Ma'am, you've come to our dog show 17 times, <laughs> and you've never won. I, I no. wonder why do you keep coming back? Well, I keep entering her in different categories. I think this time I'm entering her in most humorous, and I think she's gonna win. <laughs> because she has like such a great sense of humor, like when she doesn't win, she she just goes <laughs> That is pretty funny, actually. <laughs> I can say you that. Yes. So I feel like you know, you know, she's I think this this time you may actually win. Fluffy may actually win. That Fluffy. Would that mean that she would allow herself to be, let's say, sacrificed for a more important thing? Well, I think, you know, she would be willing to be the dog that the bigger dog back, back and forth. Oh! In, in like the dog soccer match. Oh, that's, that's perfect. That's, that's we are looking for the dog like that. You know, that. like the sideshow outside the Yes, dog yes. Show? She might not survive it, but she will have 15 mm -hmm. minutes of glory. She will be, She'll be on YouTube. She will be <laughs> amazingly. Renowned. Yes, the world. yes, yes, and she would be the sacrificial dog. <laughs> I think she would like that. I think, you know, she, it, it's important to her to be recognized. I, I, I love the way you have so much closeness to the dog.